Hi, welcome to Bull.io. Please tell us Pleasure. something about yourself and about what your company does. Hi, my name is Ben Hardiment. Uh, I'm a co-founder and CEO of the Catalyst Protocol. Uh, this is a digital content uh, protocol, essentially a peer-to-peer -peer distribution network for any type of digital content. It can be uh, PC games, movies, music, e-books, audio books, anything like that. Uh, we solve the current problem in the uh, distribution of this type of content in, in, the, in the ecosystem as it presently stands, where you've got millions of products and only a tiny handful of gatekeepers to distribute them. So all those millions of pieces of content are throttled into the hands of only about five gatekeepers like Steam, or Google, or Apple, or Spotify. And our system creates, effectively turns everyone into a marketplace. So it creates millions of marketplaces distributing millions of bits of content. So it helps solve the discovery problem for a lot of the small to mid-sized creators of films and and, and also you know, games and things where they're struggling to make a living because of the high fees that the current platforms exert on them. It's around 30%. And the current platforms, they don't do anything to really help the distribution. If you're not on the front pages, then you're dead in the water. You know? Even if you feature on them, pretty soon you drop off. So, you know, because a platform like Steam or you know, the App Store, they don't, they don't mind what you're watching or listening to or playing. They just care that you're watching. And therefore, all the big companies do well and do better and better, and the small to mid-sized ones really suffer, because not only are they paying a 30% fee just to be stocked in the Steam store, for example, but also they've got to spend another 30%, 40% on marketing just to get discovered in the first place. So it's a difficult environment, and so we help those small to mid-sized creators find audiences and using blockchain-based technology to do it. Essentially, we use what's quite old-fashioned technology, a bit like BitTorrent or Napster, the old peer-to-peer -peer networks, it's quite well established. And we use blockchain to build, bring trust into that equation. So effectively, it's a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network where all the content is shared by all the participants in the network, just like BitTorrent or Napster. But with our system, you can't use that content unless you've got a license attached to it. So every time a license is transferred, say when a film is bought from the original factory, the company that made it, every time that license is then transferred to somebody else, that creator gets their 70% kickback. So they don't mind if you resell your, your copy of you know, a movie or a game, they still get the same commission each time. And yet the, you know, the consumer is motivated to then not only market uh, you know, their, their digital content, but also sell on stuff that they've tired of. And, you know, the creators won't mind. They'll be pleased because that original purchaser has found another audience for them. So it's a, it's a system that's part of a, almost an inevitable future for the distribution of digital content. We want to be a part of it. There's, you know, if we don't do it, other people will. Uh, this is the way things are going. And the, the dominance of these closed platforms is the days are numbered. It's hard to imagine maybe a future without Netflix dominating or uh, Spotify or Amazon. But actually, you know, history's taught us that you know, in, in past decades, we couldn't imagine a future without Blockbuster Video, who are a you know, $10 billion company. Look what happened to them when they didn't adapt. So it's just an interesting... Uh, it's an interesting to be in the blockchain world because it's for the first time enabling this future to really, you know, to, the promise of peer-to-peer -peer distribution is enabling it and helping it, you know, have its time in the sun, really, which it hasn't had yet.